Hey guys, so it's Garces again. I'm actually back with another video. Um, this video I'm gonna talk about my top four colognes. First impressions are everything for me. And when you walk into a room and you have that good smelling cologne, you wanna know not just what the cologne is, but you wanna know that person as well. Part of it has to do because you wanna be like up close to the scent and be like, hey, let me smell you more, you know what I mean? But <laughs> the one that you guys saw in my uh, hand earlier is Versace Eros. You can definitely tell it's Versace even without you having to see the name of it because of the logo. Now, if we all know Versace, Versace loves their logo. Bro, can I just can I just spray this? Because I think I'm gonna I'm gonna spray this. Like you can't oh, you can't go wrong with this. I get like germanium and like vanilla and I get like a little bit of maybe some lemon. Yeah, definitely light and fruity. So if a guy likes a scent like that, because this is definitely something for them. Well, first of all, this bottle is probably like $76. And if you're gonna spend this much money on a uh, cologne. I'm gonna use it all year round. I don't care what happens or what people say. I like when you pair, you know, a cologne that's supposed to be for the spring and the summer with an outfit that's in the fall and the winter. It's kind of like a surprise. Like, it's it's more intriguing, at least to me, to want to get to know the person and smell them even more because, I mean, okay. We move on, Jimmy Choo Man. So Jimmy Choo Man is something that I got myself as a gift. The packaging is actually really, really cool. It's very, very masculine if you don't know what it is. And this cologne is something for the middle guy, you know? So this one definitely works in spring, summer, fall, and winter. It's, it's just a really good balance between the two. If you photograph this, if you're like into taking Instagram pictures and stuff like I am, sick bottle. I think this bottle is so signature that you can kind of tell what it is. Um, it's very minimal. It's very timeless also, just like the brand. So if you haven't guessed it yet, it is Chanel. First of all, can we talk about this magnetic bottle, uh, the magnetic top? So let's say I want to turn it this way. Watch. Automatically. It always seals with the CC the correct way on the bottle. So. Don't get it mistaken, boo. It is Chanel. Blue de Chanel is one of those colognes that is almost in the middle, or leads more towards woodsy notes, um, but also with a hint of fruitiness and I, or citrus citrus notes. I'm sorry, citrus notes. So lemon. It's a fresh scent, but it's not light. This right makes me feel super super sexy. If you have a boyfriend or someone who's very lumberjacky, this will work for them, okay? You know, because the beard things are in right now, you know, growing the beard to like, you know, it touches your nipple, all that is in and very hipster-ish kind of thing. A hipster, I can see wearing Blue de Chanel on a night, on a night out, on a date night. Blue de Chanel is universal like that. So if you're a hipster or you're dating a hipster or you have a beard or you're dating someone that has a beard or your father has a beard, Blue de Chanel is the way to go. I find it hysterical that cats can just, in the middle of their playtime, just stop and lick, you know, that area down there. And I'm just sitting here like, hi. So this is Bella. She's 15. She's a teenager. And um, she loves barking at pigeons. She wants to get down. <laughs> this brand. Amazing. Yves Saint Laurent makes the best cologne for men ever. In general, fit any man at any time of the day. They can be in the gym, Yves Saint Laurent. They can be digging a hole in the middle of the Midwest, Yves Saint Laurent. They can be kayaking, okay, in California, Yves Saint Laurent. Give them Yves Saint Laurent. And this is why I left this for last because Yves Saint Laurent does no wrong when it comes to cologne. I mean clothes either, but cologne, I'm talking about cologne now, so cologne. So let's talk about how I got introduced to YSL, actually. Um, and this is gonna turn into like a little bit of a chit chat. So I was introduced by, by someone who we're not gonna really mention, <laughs> at least not by name. Um, I used to date this person um, and I used to go over to their house. Everyone has this little section on their armoire where they have their colognes or their perfumes, etc, etc. He had Yves Saint Laurent and I didn't know what Yves Saint Laurent was at the time. And mind you, this was like six years ago, I want to say. They smelled amazing. 
all the time. Whenever anyone asks me what scent to get their boyfriend, their father, their uncle, their cousin, their brother, their husband, uh, lover, I don't, you know, you do you. If you have a lover, you do you. I, I'm not here to judge, you know, I don't judge, but if you spray Yves Saint Laurent on someone, guaranteed you're gonna wanna take their clothes off when you smell them. And trust me, I talk by experience because that's happened to me before with the person that we're not gonna mention. <laughs> Things might get a little frisky with Yves Saint Laurent, but like, isn't that what you wanna happen when you wear a cologne? Now this one is, uh, I don't know how to say the name, but I'm gonna show it again because... So you can tell by the first one, two, three, four, five, five letters that has a big hint of ginger. Ugh. Oh. It's a light, it's refreshing. You get the ginger, you get lemon, you get citrus. Look, this is just a light and refreshing cologne in general, and you cannot go wrong. I should probably be thanking the person that I was dating at the time for uh, introducing me to Yves Saint Laurent colognes, but, you know, given the circumstances, we're not gonna do that here today. No, we're not. Um, <laughs> Whatever. Like, if they watch this video, they'll know that, you know, it's because of them. And if they don't watch the video, then they'll never know it was them. Whatever. These are, like, my top four, and I, like, stand by them 150%. Um, so hearing from you guys would totally be awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, my name is Garces. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the colognes that I suggested. And if you don't have any of these four colognes, let me know which one it is that you would buy. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.